Hello, I'm Peter Dunsmore and welcome to this series where I'm going to show you some basic veneering techniques. That aside for a moment. And that's gripped nicely. Now, if it's if there's any trimming needing to be done, now is the time to do it before the glue has set really hard. But it's been on long enough to grip it into place. So I'm just going to trim this edge because, being a water-based glue, it has the effect of swelling the wood slightly. So it's spilled slightly over onto the walnut. I'll just use a sharp knife and a straight edge just to trim that parallel with the edge. That's it, and then very carefully peel it off. There you go. You can just see the plywood, but that's where the stringing is going to go. So I'll just do the same with this edge. Barely needs it, actually. There we go. Now, if we take a length of the stringing, let's cut it slightly over length. Don't worry about squaring the end off yet. What we'll do is get the PVA just in there, just against the ridge, and we'll just run the bead. Doesn't need a lot. Down the edge there now. the stringing and just push it, butt it up against the burr. Now this, you can tell already, this is the advantage of the carpet tiles because this beading is much thicker than the actual um, the burr veneer and when you put the carpet tile on it will press, keep pressing the veneer but it'll also press the stringing down This end off nice and square. There you go. And butt this in place up against the veneer and up against the first piece of stringing you've put in, like that. Press that down nicely, and then we get a sharp chisel. I mean, just trim this here. That's it, there it goes. And that's a nice square corner. So that's a stringing in place. Now, we're ready to put the cross banding. And that's the effect you're after. Like this. But you need a nice mitre on the corner. So what we'll do first is we'll lay one piece put some adhesive on there that's it I know either use an old paintbrush or I find this roller very good just spread the glue out nice and evenly And then just 
Just cut a mitre here. Again, we'll use a sharp chisel for that. Get the point, the corner of the chisel right into the corner of the mitre. The other end of the chisel on the corner and just press down. There you go. That's your first mitre cut. And for the second piece, slightly long, what I do is I, I tend to guess the mitre and just There you go. Look at that. Straight in. Apply some adhesive to this piece. And then press this piece of cross banding down. Butt it up against the mitre. See, it's, it's a nice, neat. If you want to grip the veneer a little bit, just lick your finger because it's a little bit wet. It'll grip to the wood much, much better, and you can push it into place. That's it. And then pop this back into the press and put it aside to dry. We'll pop this into the press now. Now you can see the advantage of the carpet tile. It'll press on the cross banding and the burr, but also on the stringing, which is actually sitting proud. Whereas if you used a flat piece of wood on here to press it, it would just press on the stringing. This applies a nice even pressure over the whole, um, over the whole project. So we'll pop that down, pop this down. Work fairly quickly, apply the pressure before any of the sort of cross banding sort of expands slightly or buckles as it gets wet with the glue. Just press it down nice and evenly. And put that aside to dry. 